All right, welcome back to the duck call room, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we had Willie in. Did y'all kill anything? Uh oh. No. Hey, it was close. What is that? Okay. Willie Iron was on. Grenades and horses. Willie. I had said he had the uh, the advantage because he was in a thicket. Mm-hmm. The deer did show up, but he slicked him. He got him. Who he slicked who? Uh, the deer, the slicked, deer Willie? slicked Willie. How'd that happen? Well, he they seen him and got him on camera and everything. Got some good footage on him, but he slicked him. He, he Dark. didn't get up there close enough oh. for a bow uh, for a crossbow. Uh, Dark. Yeah. Darkness yep. came. Yeah, and he come he come out at dark, which, yo, know, I seen a beautiful nine point, which was three years old, and he come out right before dark. God, when you weren't here, but Willie started acting like Phil, acting and like it, Phil. was uh, was and Willie it, being Phil, and it got us to thinking about a video that existed, and John David went and found the. I video. feel like I'm gonna get fired for hey. showing this video. Because oh, right. Right. this is one of the funniest right. things. But he Folks, can't fire just, me ever. This yeah. is old school Phil, though. Yeah. yeah, this is Phil back like circa 2015. And it's also old school Willie because he actually wore a bandana and he had his flame boots on. Now he wears yeah. some weird kind of hoka slides and. <laughs> Those those shoes are terrible. Well, he's <laughs> mutated. He's mutated into another direction. Who, hey, Willie? Yeah, like well, a like a country club redneck tennis player. Uh, right. Yeah, he, he belongs into a country club. Anyway, but let's watch. Yeah. And now it's time for Phil Robertson reading the church bulletin. <laughs> Ukraine Eastern Europe Minis- Mission Fundraisers. <laughs> <laughs> For those who ordered barbecue chicken plates, pick them up on your way home today. <laughs> he was in a screaming mood. Chickens for crying out loud. You gotta eat. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> then order the chicken. Pick it up from the foyer and order it. You know who else ordered chicken? James Madison, <laughs> George Washington, <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, all chicken eaters. <laughs> uh, T-shirts are also available. <laughs> See Sally and Andrea in the foyer. You know where that's at, people? Hey, dude, it's out that door. You walk out that door, that's the foyer. Oh, man. Oh, that is one of it's... the classic inside Duck Commander's Walls videos that we have. Oh, man. <laughs> now it's outside. Now it's outside. The uh... Except for the last 30 seconds of it, we're going to keep that. To yeah, our... we'll, we'll keep that one to ourselves. The... Uh... <laughs> 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 but if you ever saw Phil speak, like pre twenty fourteen, I mean that is that was spot on. spot on. Oh, yeah. He was a pulpit banger. He loved to make the microphone pop. But, yeah. he, but his favorite thing to do was after he went real hard on somebody, he'd go, "I only tell you this because <laughs> I love you. Because I love you. <laughs> because I love you." And he raises his hand. <laughs> And unfortunately, because of Duck Dynasty, that's the side of people they that of Willie that they really didn't get to know. They yeah. thought he was some loud, overbearing boss, which he kind of is. <laughs> I'm fully expecting that door to get kicked in at any well, moment no, no, and tell no. us to get back to work. But the other ninety percent of the time, that he's class clown. That's like, him. That's it. That's, that's him. It. That is. Let me yeah. find the one thing that. I can make fun of you for and exploit it for the next three years until you do something else. Like one hundred percent. That's him. Yeah. That's why we all love our boss. Yeah. Um, Happy Boss's Day. A few days late. Did y'all get him anything? No. What do you get a guy that's got everything? We used to get nothing, him random cuts of meat. Nothing. And, you just say Happy Birthday and be done with it. until he started. Yeah. <laughs> until he started or using that. really expensive steaks and chili. Like, yeah. That was some good the week, shit. The week we went to New York, okay, the last thing when we went on Fox and Fan was that they said, hey, don't mention nothing about the script. Well, I did, of course, you know. But anyway, we got, you know, they said, well, uh, you know, when people come to us, you know, we, we can either, you know, receive them one or two ways. If they're up to 
up to nothing good, we'll have a gunfight with you, or we would rather preach the gospel to you. <laughs> well, when we got on the plane going home, you know, <laughs> it's 350 people on this plane. <laughs> and we'll just say, hey, look, if you come into our house with guns and, and try to rape our women, Oh, we fixed them. We fixed to have a gunfight. This is in a plane, okay? Public plane. Probably wasn't led with that. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, no. Oh, it, it was hilarious. Okay. I remember this because oh, hey. Phil said it on like a major TV show. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did say it on Fox and Friends. It was like, he was like, let me tell you something, sir, Mr. What's the guy's yeah, name? Yeah, he started it first. Yeah, um, that's right. What's the little guy's name on Fox and Friends? I can't remember. Brian. Kill, Mr. Kill Me, yeah, Brian, let kill me, me tell yeah. you if you come to my abode and dwelling, <laughs> there will either be a Bible study or a, kill, or or a gunfight. Gun fight. Oh. If you're coming to learn about Jesus, <laughs> we can do that. But if you're coming to rape <laughs> our women, <laughs> it's a not going to fly. It's a, it's a gunfight. Uh, that was like what he said on Fox and Friends. So, you know. Then we'll go home as on As bad plane. as that is, yeah. you got to laugh about How that. How come thing? with you and Phil, when we ask y'all not to say something, that's the only First thing y'all can talk about? Hey. What, 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 what wires get crossed in hey, there? Look, I, you know, don't tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> y'all don't tell they me They wanted nothing. to think we had a script. Yeah. How could yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Like, Unbelievable. The other no. good one was was on uh what's it called was it Fallon or Kimmel one of them Jimmy's Jimmy Kimmel uh, used to be like, funny yeah. um anyway they they were like Phil what he's like look hey I'm just a guy living down at five thirty and and everybody's like stop <laughs> yeah stop don't give out and it was, you know that was a whole gate that had to be put up yeah, yeah. he gave, he out, gave his, out his address <laughs> yeah yeah that was wild. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, why do y'all do that? Yeah, why, why yeah. do y'all do you well, and Phil no, wake here. up every day trying to figure out how to make our lives more? No, difficult? no. Here's the whole thing about it. Okay, you know, because you know, every time they we would go to New York, you know, Willie would come and say, "Why well, hey, y'all gonna need to go to New York?" But he knew well, better. All right. Well, no. Yeah. Here's the thing. You know, I finally come back one time from New York. Okay, and I got in trouble. <laughs> and they told me, "Hey, go in and see the boss." I went in and I said, "You know." He said, "What well, you're bad as dad. <laughs> we can't send you or dad anywhere. <laughs> and I said, well, hey, I got a question for you. You're in charge of all of this. I said, why do you keep sending us to New York when you know we're going to get in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Quit it, you dummy. Yeah, he should have kicked okay. up on that. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. for what it's worth, I try to keep you at home as much as possible. Right, that's it. Boy, I man, prefer, keep, me, keep me at home. I prefer Phil inside New York City because <laughs> normally funny things happen. Oh, no. The best one was when they got, Jace got threw out of the, the Trump Tower. That yeah, happened. I remember that. That yep. was hilarious. Was yeah. he thrown out or was he asked to leave? He was asked no, no, to leave. No, no, he was escorted out. Now, he was escorted, Gilly. but it wasn't was like, he, yeah, yeah, it was it wasn't like a bouncer. Yeah, no. it was general. I'm he just, just said, I, yo, he needs to take a leak. You and your people, Cy, si, have a tendency to, you hey, know. And the doorman grabbed his gently, gently grabbed Jason's arm and said, come on me, sir. Yeah, me, and Brittany were, me and Brittany were out yeah. front. Yeah. So he legitimately was yeah. escorted out. Yeah, he was escorted out, and he said, you see the park? Have at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. Me and, me and Brittany were out in front of Central Park. Jay said, and, Jay said no, we, I, I'm staying here. Right. And that guy went. About two weeks later, yeah. we had to go back. And when you go to check in, you know, the whole family has had a picture of every yeah. one of us there. Yeah, word, word got back to the Don. <laughs> yeah. And this was before the Don was the Don. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, the press. Yeah. Yes, it's before he really took to Twitter. and um, That's yeah. a good thing. You know. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was it was wild. But, yeah, we were outside just looking at Central Park when it all happened. I said, what just happened to you? He said, I think I got kicked out. That's right. I got escorted out. He said, he hey, well, never they, they went did for it that gently. Starbucks. Yeah. They did it gently and politely. Yeah. He said, I, I'm pretty sure I just got kicked out. Of the like, hotel I'm staying at. Yeah. I was like, man, what a life. Yo, and then we go to Fox and Friends, and the first thing that's, well, has anything interesting happened to y'all? 
And Jesse said, hey, I got one for you. <laughs> yeah, and then like two years later, we took his son duck hunting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. He said, well, hey, I just got thrown out of the Trump Tower. Yeah. Life has a funny way of working out, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> you well, never take, know. We should do a whole episode on our favorite Phil one-liners from across. Now nah, that's that's a different TV. That would probably be. That's why the we're going to have to save kids, that one for the last. The kids yeah. couldn't listen. Yeah, good point. Yeah. That's why the you know the scripture says God moves in mysterious ways. You yeah. are mysterious. Yeah, right. that. He does. He does move in mysterious ways. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back. Hey, right after that this. sounds like a good idea. I need a drink of tea anyway. Hey, look, you know what podcast you're listening to. We're just a group of very normal dudes, aren't we, Si? That's it. And one thing we do every day so we can stay normal is we drink AG1. Hey, you got to stay healthy some way, You got to stay healthy some way. Look, I drink AG1 literally every day. It's a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. I gave it a try. Stone got turned on to it by Christian. Christian. Christian and Zadie drink it every day. Phillip We've turned it. Philip McMillan yep. on to it. He drinks it every day. You drink it in the morning. It's 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 just, just boom. One scoop in the morning. Shake it up. Drink that. You're going to be feeling great. You're ready to go. Take on the day's activities. It Hey, it's an easy habit to stick to, and you can make it part AG1, part of your everyday life. AG1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. It's seriously the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day? Hey, and let me tell you something. It costs less than a cup of coffee. It's fantastic. It's got 75 minerals and vitamins and all the good stuff, immune system. So I remember whenever you did life hacks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody that's looking for a life hack needs to find out that AG1 is the best life hack for your health. It's awesome. So, look, we all know this. It's a good thing to be regular. You need regular timing. That way you're not in a bind when you're out on the water in a duck blind. And AG1, it supports gut health. So you're going to want to do that. Improve digestion. If you wonder why my hair and skin look so good, I just attribute it all to AG1. That's right. It takes care of your body. If you want to take ownership over your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. I didn't know you could play the drum. Hey. Who, who can play oh. the drum? Oh. Huh. We got that Google alert yesterday. Oh. Me and Goblin. Well, Apparently, can't... me and Goblin are brothers. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. We're brothers. Well, what I mean, Google technically alert. we are. And we've started a band. The Bearded Bandits. Uh-oh. The Bearded Bandits. Where's the Bearded this Bandits? How many is in your band? I guess two of us. Two yeah. of us? Okay. Well, hey, two. two. Well, hey, look. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I know somebody that made it work. Goblin's lead vocals, and I'm a drummer. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's lead vocals, and you're the That's drummer. what they told us. Yep. Okay. Who, How do they come up with what? that stuff? With who? Hold on. I'm going to have to forward you the Google alert. <laughs> there yep. is a bearded bandit. I was going to say there's already a bearded bandit. I'm looking at on JD's computer. Goblin, did you email that to me or did yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Look, here's bearded bandit's music on uh that's definitely not y'all. No. What is your There you go, boy. Well, that could be. It could be. Not it could really. be an incognito. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a different kind of beard and hat. Yeah. Is your is your new email end with twelve? Correct. Okay. That's right. not going to be hard to figure out. That's, I, <laughs> why, oh. why are you emailing it to me? I'm, I'm sending. It. I'm sending you the link. No, because it was via an email. Oh, via. Uh, there was a butterfly girl. A what? Butterfly girl. She had a big butterfly on lit on her arm. Oh man, it's uh, one of these days, we're just going to strap two GoPros on side and let him watch that. Just hey. just let him peruse the internet. I just yeah. want to see where he ends up. Okay. Like, Me and him played PlayStation together one time. He got over that quick. Yeah, he didn't care for that. Yeah. Google alert. John Godwin, Duck oh. Commander. Justin Martin Age, Duck Dynasty. That is something that's worth Googling because you'd be surprised. It's the Investor Times. Yeah. Justin Martin, a popular figure from the hit. Did I say figure? Figure. figure that was yeah. weird. A figure from the hit reality television show. It's got what your the, birthday. That is nowhere near my birthday. That's cool. Yeah. August seventh, nineteen eighty one is not your. No. 
They just made up your birthday? They mm-hmm. just made it up. They boy. made up everything else, too. That's, Ooh, infectious that's, sense of humor. Hey, that's yeah. your media for you. Oh, the Diverse people. talents. In addition to his passion for the outdoors, he has a deep love for music and plays the drums. Yep. Justin uh-huh. has even performed with his brother and fellow Duck Dynasty star John Godwin in their band called The Bearded Bandits. Okay. There you go. What are people doing? I don't know, but we're a dynamic duo, and that's pretty tight. Yeah, you ain't glad. <laughs> I love it, boys. Hey. Oh, my father, Ricky Martin. I was about to say, oh, living Ricky in La Loca. Okay. Your dad's name is not Ricky. No, <laughs> it's not Ricky, nor is he alive. Like uh, a seasoned Ricky, a seasoned hunter himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This is. Well, this why do people. I, I mean, there is 476 ads on this page, so do they just make up things and see who ends up here? Oh, Evident- evidently. So. Clickbait. Clickbait. Hey, they do. You've have got my, a heart of gold, Justin Martin. I'm just now. I'm just now scrolling now. They do have my wife's name right, so that's cool. Okay, they got you married, right? Although anyway. not much information is available about his height, weight, and Whoa. other personal time details. Out, time I'm six four two seventy. Okay, so. time out. Time out. I think we now we, known for his extreme generosity. He has a habit of surprising friends and family with unexpected gifts. Yeah, that's me. All right. Any anybody here got an unexpected gift lately? No, yeah. not hardly. Yeah. Hey, I did get you one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh well, hey, I take it back. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just, <laughs> there you go. I messed up again, boy. Martin he gave up. me a pair of waiters one oh. time, and I still have my my voice level still hadn't dropped back down since it had me. Oh, oh man. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, weird. Do I have any children? No, nope, it says I don't have any kids. Boy, this <laughs> these people right here. Hey, they're what making they up a that? fake Martin. And Joy's playing music, particularly the drums. The drums. I wouldn't even know where to start on the drums. The uh, ba- the, the, the You got to kick it. You got to kick it? You stomp it, and then it goes. And you need two sticks. <laughs> and you need two sticks. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. Does Justin Martin have any tattoos? Yes, Justin Martin has a tattoo of his beloved dog Phil on his <laughs> arm. <laughs> Show it. I ain't got no tats, big dog. He ain't got no tats. I dog. ain't even got no sunlight up That's there. That's it, boy. Right. Hey. What a weird thing to just make up. Oh. I feel like if you you would be making this up, you would at least like a Google alert. Wow. Yeah. Google alert. Hey, don't trust them, boys. It says my net worth is five hundred grand. Where'd I get that check? Ooh, I'll fix that. Who'll write I'll, that one for me? I'll, I'll fix pay, that cash I'll out, baby. The, I'll pay the taxes on it. Gladly. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh man. Cash that, that, baby. I didn't I didn't take the time to read it, obviously, because when it said I was so thrown off that me and Goblin were brothers. Yeah. No, we don't have the same last I name. love you anyway. I do too. Yeah. I love you yeah. like a brother, yeah. and you yeah. are my brother yeah. in Christ. That's it. But I think the way that they're talking is Blood Kin Brothers, and um, mm-hmm. you know we have a band. Well, I good. couldn't think of two less musically get, inclined people than me t-shirt. and you. We need to get T-shirt. He plays the trumpet. Oh, hey, he but he's lead vocals trumpet. according to the ad. Yeah, like he, if I, they would have said Goblin on the horns, if we'd have been like elevator music, yeah. Goblin's on the horns, and I'm playing the drums, maybe. That's it. Hey, and hey, but that's it. I mean. <laughs> Goblin on lead vocals? Goblin, go ahead and hit me something. Look, He's been Church vocals. of Christ long enough. He knows how to make the, the instruments with his mouth. <laughs> hey, he, he know acapella, baby. He can do it. Yeah. Uh, lead vocals, John Goblin. The bearded Ooh. bandits. I guess we do need to get that T-shirt made now. Like, That'd we be, well, the problem is that I've seen two, um, and then the others look like uh, y'all with a... Uh-oh. With a violin. Oh, really? Some would call no, it, it's a fiddle. It's a fiddle if it's y'all. It's a fiddle down here. Yeah. Now, I do think playing the fiddle would be kind of cool. Like, Oh, yeah. it ain't like, if you don't know what you're doing. Well, no, I'm well, saying duh. like if, if I had the ability, like that would be yeah. one of yeah. my top three instruments if I could pick yeah. one to play. Yeah. Fiddle. That'd be cool, man. You can play The Devil Went Down to Georgia. That's, he was oh, that's always yeah. a crowd pleaser. That's right. Like, hey. mm-hmm. I mean... Unbelievable. Gobble, what instrument would you play? Drop it. No. Oh, you know, know how to play that. I don't know. Like, don't if know. You, you had one, you're like, Guitar, man, I guess. You, you're a guitar man. Si? Or the drum. I, I need to play the drum. There we go. You're a noisemaker. And you love Rush. Mm-hmm. Can't Neil, have Rush without Neil drums. Neil Peart's a drum-beating sucker. Yeah. Was. 
What about you, Si? You can halfway play the guitar, so what other instrument? Hey, no. I've tried to play, you know, the drum, uh, drums, I couldn't do it. Hey, a drummer has to be in shape. But you're active. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. but hey, no, hey. No. <laughs> That's what he said. If, yeah, you, hey, if, hey, hey, if you want to see somebody active, look at, check a drummer out. Okay. Mm. Both feet, both arms, arm, you know, hands. So yeah. what I hear you saying is you're more likely to be a bass player. Hey. Just yeah, just standing there. Standing no, there I, hey, that would be a good one. Yeah, boom, yeah. Because yeah. you just have to just. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Neil Peter's background, drum background music. goes all the way around him. Background music. What about you, Johnny D? One instrument. Um, if I had to pick one, Blue. harmonica, the piano, piano. Oh, okay, Elton, I like you. Hey, I like it you. Just you know, who's more fun at parties than the guy that goes and sits down, and starts to go dun 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 dun, dun and everybody starts singing? It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, it? hey, that's just a good time. To roll, baby. What song was that? Piano Man? Yeah. I thought that's what you were going yeah. with. Bum, bum, ah, bum. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, hey, the guy that can play the piano is playing the piano. Let's all stand around and sing and have a good time. You want to be the piano guy? Yeah. You ever I, been to uh, a piano bar? And it's a, wo and it's right. a woman getter. Well, I don't need that. Hey. Yeah, he's already got one. Of well, those. I'm, just I'm sticking you, hey. with the one that I got. Well, hey, I'm just telling you. But out of all the instruments that may just randomly be in somebody's house, piano is a good one. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, for some reason, really wealthy people like to have a piano, even though I've never seen anybody play them. But they get really mad if you sit your drink on top of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. They yeah. Sure do. Yeah, because they're staying easy. Yeah. He's a coaster man. Yeah. Hey. I you mean, sometimes you're just trying to fix something and you just uh, need to sit yeah. it down for a second. That's right. And some of them don't want you touching it. Who? What would you call your band? Whoa. Burning VCRs. I was in a band one time. It was called Burning VCRs. No, it was technically called Terry's Burning VCRs. Terry's again. Burning VCRs. Again. Uh -huh. That's technically what it was called. We could do three songs. Uh, Lump by the Presidents of the United States of America was one of them. Billy Joel, boys. <laughs> the piano man. I was the lead singer. Because well, I don't know how to play instruments. We can't ask Cy what he would call his band because he already had them. The oh, psychotics. Yeah. That's right. The psychotics. Boy. I like the bearded bandits. I mean, that's kind yeah. of, but we're not, we are bearded. We're not bandits. By, mm -hmm. I mean, me and Godwin ain't going to outrun much. So, like, no. the, the phrase bandit doesn't necessarily fit. If us. we started a band, people would be like, hot dang, it's the Soggy Bottom Boys every time we took the stage. And that would be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Like, I'd love yeah. to dance like that old boy. And, oh, no. You know, who stole his moves from Goofy on Mickey Mouse. But, like, that was cool. Yeah, that's right. Seven seconds. Let her rip. Dun, okay, that's it. That's it. That's all we can do. That's a harmonica. <laughs> the harmonica. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know when the the actual song starts in the the actual music video of Billy Joel, but <laughs> yeah, it's different. Is that a different uh, song? It's hard to say what song I'm singing. I didn't need to sing the whole thing. He knows a lot about music, but he's sipping his misery and gin. So anyway, let's oh. take a break. We'll be back right after this. Look, coming back in here on a Monday after a long weekend sure is a great thing because we're well, well rested. We've been on the Helix mattress all weekend. I had a long weekend, and I needed a Helix mattress to recover. There, hey, that's good. Look, that we had a I long need. week. The boys were had the RSV, and then they finally got better over the weekend. So mom and dad clouded up and rained on that Helix mattress this weekend. That's what, probably why I sleep 18 hours is the mattress. Well, you know why? Because because you have a particular set of skills. No, no, it's like a cloud. It's okay. built for you. Hey, there it is. It's I built for you test, because boys. you That's you right. took the quiz, answered the questions, and they sent you a mattress based on how you answered the questions. So made. if that's what you're after, if you're looking for a new mattress, we recommend Helix Sleep. Look, the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including an award-winning Lux collection, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. And now Helix is bringing their most premium mattresses yet with the new Helix Elite Collection. Every Helix Elite has a built-in cooling cover, thousands of supportive coils, dual cushioning layers, and even lumbar support for a truly elevated sleep experience. It's like I said, look, you won't know which one's for you, take the quiz. You can do it in under two minutes, and your personalized mattress is shipped right for your door. You go pick it up at the front door. If you want to test it out, 100-night trial. That's, it's that simple. They, they know you're going to love it, but they'll let you sleep on it for 100 nights. Look, 
why not? It's kind of risk free at, at that point. Look, everybody is unique and everyone sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and feel preferences. Helix has models with memory foam layers, models with more responsive foam to cradle your body, and enhanced cooling features to keep you from overheating at night. And if your spine needs some extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress has a hybrid design combining wrap steel coils in the base and foam layers at the top to get the perfect combination of comfort and support. Johnny D. You on what moonlight? Lux? I'm a moonlight Lux kind of fellow. Because you oh, sleep moonlight. on your belly no. and you like it soft, right? No, back. Oh, back. I knew it was one of them. Hey, I had a 50 50 shot. Sleeps on their belly. What a weirdo. But if you do, they got a mattress for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get used to just staring at monitors, and both my kids sleep on their belly, and I'm I'm jealous. So uh, I remember the days when I could do that, but. Those have long since passed. Look, not only is the mattress the best we've slept on, but the setup's fast and easy. Helix mattresses are delivered in a box straight to your door for free. Don't want to take our word for it. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by Wired Magazine. And it's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors. Sleep medicine is a go-to solution for improving your sleep. Plus, Helix mattresses are American-made and come with a 10- or 15-year warranty, depending on the model. Right now, they got a great deal going on. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash duck. What are we doing? Trail cameras are going off. Sorry. Oh, trail I know. cameras are going off. Boy. Trail cameras are going off. Speaking of trail cameras going off, I dare you to press play right now, and we'll discuss what this creature is on a trail camera diary. Okay. Let's play. see what you got. Well, yeah. it's going to take me a second. Oh, find it. I wasn't cool. ready because you're, did you did. What was on your trail camera, sir? Crows. You got uh, crows? crows? Mine was actually my mother dragging a limb in front of it. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. So why is your mom in the middle of the woods? No, this is this she's is still cutting. something, something I got up. up for security purposes. Yeah, but she's limbing up as shooting lanes. No, if you lay a limb on the ground and pour corn around it, it'll keep a deer from facing you. Like you can lay it and kind of yeah. lay it this way in front of you. Why would you not want the deer to face you? Because you can't shoot it. Oh, oh, I he thought I was thinking about sideways. sideways. Okay, I was Everything thinking about corn oh, sideways here, boys. Yeah, I need a bigger target. That's a good point. Anyway, Wyatt from Tennessee. We're uh, we're back oh, to trail cam diaries. I do love this part. Trail cam diaries. They're crazy animals. I got pictures of it Looks them. like a duck call to me. He's 19. <laughs> uh, his family owns a decent piece of property. Okay. Okay. Just knows decent. all the surrounding neighbors. Okay. This is not a doctored photo. Okay. Not a doctored photo. This is legitimately, he, he did not find this on the internet. This is a possible trail cam picture of a duck call. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Where is it? Hey. Oh, it's a house of cat. Of a house cat. Of a house cat. Yep. Of a yep. of a fourteen inch tall house cat. That's right. Yep. How can you tell how tall that is? You can just look at hey. it and tell. Hey. hey. No. Mm. Look so, at that. You ain't never heard of a baby black. That's it, right? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Say, hey, can't that's trust the thing. He's training me you to boys, carry hey, on the hey, mantle. You boys, hey. You just, you hey, know, it's a side point. It don't make any difference. Okay. Side quit. It quit don't make what? any difference. Side hey. quit. <laughs> you know as well as we all know, that's a house cat. Quit it. Why is that a house cat? There's no Why tree. Can't it be? No, no. Here's the thing. Why can't that be a baby black panther? I'm not saying it can't, but that's very clearly a okay. house cat. Why can't that be a full-grown Black Panther? No, it ain't a full-grown Other than it looks Panther. small. No. But there's nothing to t tell his height against. Its it eyes is. are one inch apart. It is. Like. Hey, it is. That's, he was right when he said about 14 inches. Yeah, he's not very tall. Okay. Yeah. You got to be able to just judge distance and height. Man, it's wild. Yeah. Oh, talk about that. Okay, here we hey, go. No, no, look, I love it when something jogs no, your memory. No, no. <laughs> sitting in the deer stand, I'm sitting there, and way down, well, on the pipeline, way down mm. the pipeline. It's always way off. Yeah, it? and I said. Right I at said, dark. I said, Stone. No, this was this was in, in broad daylight. Oh, okay. I said, Stone. I got my binocular looked at, and I said, what is that down there? What are them two things down there on the other end of the pipeline? Yeah, and I said, are crows or either are coons? And he, he took Willie's pot scope and looked and started bust out laughing. He said, neither. And I said, what? I said, I said what other? He said, they're deer. Okay, deer. look, and they was two young little yearlings, and I mean, they wasn't probably 
two weeks old. <laughs> yeah, cause they was hey, they was about like that. They Where was, was Mama? Uh, Mama wasn't out there. It was just this two stupid little yearling. Why do they got to come be out stupid? later? Because, because at that hey, point they are dumb. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's why Mama, they're standing out and opening yeah, in the yeah. middle of the day. Then Mama come out there later. Yeah, there it is. Hi-yow. Mama was standing off there in the bushes, just yeah, making watch, sure. Yeah, watch. So are we going to be rude to this kid that emailed in and just say this funky looking deer? Well, quit uh, skipping ahead. Hey, <laughs> we're going to have to move my computer hey. so you can't see it. <laughs> All right, let's say another. Yeah. No, but I hey, like, Okay. It's he, a house cat. It's a house well, cat. I wasn't saying it was a black panther. It, he wants yeah. that to be clear, so I want to clear his name. Yeah. And he uh, asked for it not to be called stupid, and we didn't. No. Okay. But he no. truly can't tell what it is. It's a house cat. It's a, it's a house cat. It's a house cat. It's a house cat. We're 98% positive it's a house cat. Yeah. I'm sorry, Wyatt. Yeah. I wanted to I'll give you a 2% you know, chance that it may be something else. Maybe a baby black panther. <laughs> Maybe, anyway. That's right. Because I'm kind of digging trail cam diaries. Possibly bo- one a of a bobcat, but I think it's a house cat. Yeah. yeah. One of the funner things we do. Um, Clayton says, I've been watching your podcast for many years, which is crazy to think about. Um, this is his photo from Picayune, Mississippi. Picayune, oh, yeah. Picayune, Mississippi. Now, hey, he named it correctly. Good, Gary. Whoa. That is. <laughs> That is a funky looking deer. Okay, that's awesome. Hey, shoot that thing! A no, 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 let no. him get no, let him get big and then shoot him. I'd name that one Goofy, and he'd die yeah. of old age. Yeah, yeah. that Goofy. thing is cool. I, no, no, hey, that's cool. Look at how his big the bases are. I'd like hey. to rope that sucker and put a collar on him. No, no, long I like that. Yeah, I like that. There's a pet. He's yeah. half Longhorn. Hey, I have a pet. Get him where you can call him up to you. Look, I got a Look special place in my ear. heart for the weird one. Hey. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> if Cy Robertson were a deer, yeah, there you go. Right. Look at his ear. Hey. I know. No, he's just listening. That he's is, listening back there. That is so cool. That's awesome. That is, that is so cool. And look, he's in velvet, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He probably yeah. got an injury or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. Martin, what co- like as a person who doesn't know why? Why does that deer look like? He, I'm guessing. Too much. I'm guessing that something happened at the growth plate of his antlers and kicked them out. Like so, so, for those driving down the road, this deer has two horns. He looks like a longhorn. He looks like a mini. Out the side yeah. of his head. Yeah. He looks like a mini longhorn kind of. They like actually come up and then go out. on the right. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, so, I love him. He looks like he's got a snake. He looks like he's got a snake on top of his head. I guarantee you, though. But when <laughs> look, when he goes to scratch his back. Oh, he got on. he's he's on the juice when he scratches. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. he can reach his yeah. rear end. Yeah, heck yeah! I bet it's weird going through things. Though. I would yeah. keep him. I'm like you. I'd keep him. That's just cool. Yeah. Do you think yeah. the girl deers all think he looks dumb? Probably. No. Okay. They don't care. Hey, he may not even know that he's a boy deer anymore. Looking at the shape he's in, he may have a he may have an issue down there. He's having. We got. He we may have a little bit of an nah. issue. He's struggling, nah. gang. Nah. But that's cool. Like that. That. Yeah, I wouldn't. That would. He you would, wouldn't shoot that. He would die of old age Hold on up. my property. We got one on the property. We call it the zombie deer. Zombie deer. Yeah. someone has yeah. got a picture yeah. of it on his phone. What's it okay. look like? She's got something. She's probably either either been shot. She's got or some disease because her right eye or left eye is bad. Okay, it's gone. You can tell. And then she's just bones, skin and bones. Oh, really? So we're looking to try to put her out of her misery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's she's gross looking. See, it's on them that I just kind of let nature take its course and see how tough they are. But, you know, well, she's, <laughs> she's, she's, having, she's having a hard time. Oh, it. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, big that's time. Bad. That's a bad deal. She got phones or she by herself? Uh, I, I by herself. Yeah. A picture. Yeah. But if we see her, we're going we're gonna to put her out of her misery. Yeah. So she's a, she, you know, she's. Skinny is real, okay. Bones, all the bones are showing, you know, and then the eyes popped out. And that's the bad thing about trail cameras is sometimes you see them deer and you're no. like, man, it makes you wonder how any of them make it. No, no, no. You're like, wow, they man. tough. You know, see deer with broke legs and hobbling around oh, yeah. looking like tripods and all kinds of stuff. That's, that's just wild. where Willie hunts. Nature. <laughs> No, he ain't ever took off a leg. <laughs> he sure <laughs> little, didn't mess little, A little further back. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. We're sorry. Yeah. Let's mm. take a break. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good yeah, it is a good break time. We'll be back. 
Man, the only thing we talk about more than food in this place is sleep, you know? And that's because we're professional eaters, and he's a professional sleeper. That's right. Hey, look, it is they they do match us. I guess that is right and look. They know their audience. What do you lay your head down on when you get through drinking that tea that you stain your pillowcase with? Which as you pull your microphone close to your mouth. 2.0, boy. <laughs> of course you know he's talking about the that my pillow. pillow 2.0. That's it. I couldn't resist throwing it to side with his mic off and just chugging <laughs> tea. But look. Look, when our friend Michael Lindell invented the original My Pillow, it had everything you could want in a pillow. Now, 20 years later, he discovered new technology that makes the My Pillow even better, and it's the My Pillow 2.0. Made it better. Upgrade. It's the My Pillow, not his pillow, Upgrade, her pillow, your pillow. Baby. It's My Pillow. That's the point. That's it. It's a pillow made for you. Look, the My Pillow 2.0 has the patented adjustable feel of the original My Pillow, but also has fabric made with temperature regulating thread. The My Pillow 2.0 is the softest, smoothest, and coolest pillow you'll ever own. Say goodbye to tossing and turning and flipping your pillow over during the night. And right now, the regular price for a queen size My Pillow 2.0 is $79.98, but for a limited time, limited time, you can get it for $39.99 with promo code DUCK. A king size pillow is just $10 more. So whether you're a queen or a king or you aspire to be either, you can save a lot of money and get a great deal on a pillow that's made just for you. The MyPillow 2.0 is made with temperature-regulating technology, 100% made in the USA. The pillow comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Look, the MyPillow 2.0 is awesome. We're sleeping on it. If you get there and you're like, man, what else do these folks have? They got slippers. They got my towel. And they got the towel. They, they got, got them my bed sheets. sheets. Yeah. They got my everything. Pretty yeah. much anything that happens in your bedroom and bathroom area, they got you covered. Mm-hmm. And we've got it all. And you're going to love it. I, I just, I know you will. Look, and so does Mike. And all you got to do is go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener special square to get the queen size MyPillow 2.0 for $39.99 and the king size for $10 more. It's time you see for yourself how great this new pillow really is. Go to MyPillow.com and enter promo code DUCK or call 800-969-3137 to get your MyPillow 2.0 now. That's MyPillow.com, promo code <laughs> Duck, duck. <laughs> or call eight hundred. I had to make you wait for it. <laughs> or call eight hundred nine six nine three one three seven. And use promo code. Oh, that's right. Duck. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Hello, we're going extra. And you want to know why we're going extra? Because Amy listens, and Amy does what we ask. She's oh, the only oh. One. oh, time out before we go any further. Amy from the no the um. We need to say thank you for the people that brought the little Debbies. Oh yeah, uh, that's why I was eating a Nutty Buddy yeah. whenever we started. Yeah, I forgot we we didn't do that on the last one. Phil brought them in here. They that, met Phil McMillan. Okay. Yep. And it was from Brian and his daughter Ella. Well, okay. Brian and Ella, look, yep. y'all yep. y'all snack choosing abilities perfect, top tier, top that's tier. Right. You right. didn't just bring oatmeal cream pie. Double okay. deckers. Ding. I'm, and you know what the boys had a box of yesterday addressed to them? What? Christmas tree cakes. Ooh. Ooh. From from our friends at Little Debbie since we missed each other on my trip to Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> what a great thing. He's already spoiling them, boys. No, they ain't getting none of that. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to cut that. That ain't going. He's, that's, he's that's, trying to cut out, boy. That's dad's tax. Yeah. But oh, everything I open is bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back to Amy. Sorry about Amy that. Amy from Australia. Remember whenever we were going to try and be cool and bring this podcast into the 30th century or whatever century we're in? 21st? Changing the world? Oh. Hold on. We got an Australian to send a message? This is Amy from Queensland, Australia. How great is this? I don't know, be? but keep it going. I love it. She's super Australian, though. Yeah. Right. yeah. She's from Queensland. Hi, this is Amy from Queensland, Australia. My question is for John David, who, may I say, I think is very underrated for how entertaining he is. I awesome. don't. Johnny D, <laughs> when will you be buying the kids a new puppy? Okay, thanks. See, I don't even want to talk about this, but since you're from Australia and I've always wanted to hear my name pronounced like this. Hey, this is Amy from Queensland, Australia. John David, who John <laughs> David, John David. I want to go hang out John in Australia David. for like a weekend. John David, um, never. Okay. What? Oh. I you want to buy your kids a puppy? They haven't asked. Christmas. I'll talk to him. 
No, whoa. <laughs> Christmas time. Uh, when? Yeah. Yeah. We'll solve that problem. You know what's, so you know what's funny? Uh, we got, I, I got this one. I listened to that today, and Dublin would have been 15 yesterday. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Um, Celebration but, time. Yeah, but we're not. Uh, you know, we're not looking. None of my kids are like hankering for one. Like it's kind of been nice to be able to like go on vacation and not figure out what to do with the dog. And you know, I just think you need to get a new one and name it Queensland. That's, there's a chance. I Me, mean, you already had Dublin. We might have old Amy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I might name my dog. That. How cool is it that people from Australia just sent a? Yep. Yeah. I just liked her voice too. I was like, this, this will play. Australian's one of my favorite accents. It's a it's a cool one. But do you uh, what is the rule on dogs? You don't have to get a new one, do you? I don't know. I mean, I can tell you right now. When you have to start going downhill with as much as my boys interact with her now, we gonna get us another one. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> we have a kids, stuffed dog that need, we call Dublin. Kids need puppies. There you yeah. go. I, actually, the cool thing about dogs, I remember growing up. They they're an easy way to teach kids responsibility early on. Take them outside, clean up their stuff, feed them, water them. Yep. I think that's why my parents made sure we always had pets because yep. gave us a list of things to do. Um, and you just you learn, which is a good thing. I've, and you learn to take care of something not yourself. Yep. So like yep. teaches you a little bit of of that side of things too. Because when you're a kid, it's all about you, right? I mean. But when you have to take care of an animal, now we got a. I mean, my mom still got a bird that I think is going to bury all of us. So ah, oh, you do have a bird. <laughs> yeah, I mean know. that bird. I got one does it, of them. Does it that talk? Cow. Does it talk? <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> does he, it talk? Not Dog, much anymore. Got. Oh, okay. But he used to. He used to, you know, like say my name, and you could do a turkey call, and he could do it right back at you better than you. That's kind of cool. I always wanted to take him turkey hunting, but. <laughs> I wish I'd be good having a birthday you on the Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, Boom. I'm still the only person. Well, there were two people he liked, me and my dad. And we had the least to do with him. The but, bird? Yeah. I said it's because he saw me carry in all the dead ones all the time. And he said, boy, you better not trifle with him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think he that saw me. I think he looked out for birds. Yeah. I think he looked through the He'll window and saw me out there dog. cleaning yeah. them. Yeah. Saying, hey, <laughs> you know he, he ain't a bird man. Yeah, so you know what? I think I'll, I'll treat this one kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. He'll Mom, take who take, <laughs> took care of him for every day of his life, he will bite the snot oh, no, out no, of no. her. How old is this bird? I bet he's 20. Oh no, they'll draw blood. Mm-hmm. What is he? Most of them, a hey, they'll pop parrot. you in. They'll draw Quaker blood parrot. on. It. Yep, Quaker is parrot. He big? No, he's little. He's like that big. Huh? But he's not like a parakeet with that annoying little. Brittany hates him. Of course, the feelings <laughs> mutual. <laughs> <laughs> I can hey. see Brittany and animals, just not really. Oh, How's well, Brittany yeah. and the dog? Oh, fantastic! See, because my my wife was over the dog by the time. Well, Jude was our first child, so when me and Brittany got married we got jude so see like, allison it, what, once the kids came around allison was sick of that dog no she loves jude because jude listens oh, like, yeah, you, you can't is, you man. can't have the boys do anything <laughs> you tell jude to sit she sits oh no my dog ain't never sat yeah he lay but <laughs> <laughs> i think you need to get a dog for christmas though carter if you're listening Mm-mm. ask for a puppy that's right my wife would be so mad <laughs> we're, we're taking a break we, they may make a reappearance but for now we're we're happy yeah sans we got a lot of stuff to the martin household will always have a lab job security it'd be cool if you man could. somebody gotta go pick up them ducks i ain't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the worst part all yeah. right next one yeah go ahead jared he's living in hattiesburg right now but he was born and raised in seminary mississippi um He's he's never been able to get his first deer. He's 21. His dad used to take him hunting. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away last September. But Jarrett has never been able to kill a deer. Doesn't know if it's bad luck or what. Um, but a buddy of mine who doesn't hunt sees deer all the time at his place. So it, he's got him a place he can go hunt. Mm-hmm. He's facing to get one. That's it. All he's got to do is exchange some meat, right? Right. But go. he wonders something, and I think we may have the answer to why he's never killed a deer. Is hunting and using your phone to pass the time a bad thing? 
Could that be why I haven't been seeing deer? Thanks, Jarrett. <laughs> God, no. My phone keeps me on the deer stand longer than anything because I can play Candy Crush. Like, yep. playing, if I'm sitting there on a game, de- looking at your phone, deer sneaks right on by. Yeah. I think they- but they generally, there's something in you, right? Am, am I the only one that feels this way? Like, I've been sitting there for hours on end not seeing anything, and then all of a sudden you get like this sixth sense and you just put your phone down and you kind of stretch and you look and you're like, oh, well, look at there. And there's a deer coming. It's weird. It's 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 one of the most bizarre things ever. But I also found with the phone, I use my ears more. Like, because then I'm listening for anything. And you hear stuff break that you would have never heard break otherwise. And you're like, oh, look at there. Here comes a doe. Like, there's a squirrel. Yeah. A squirrel. Or there's, a, there's an armadillo that sounds yeah. like a whole herd yeah. of them coming yeah. this way. So you're saying phone's okay. As long as it's on silent, absolutely. But so, so he's not just staring at his phone. Now he may not be in tune with nature while yeah. he's doing it. Uh-huh. You like, have to be one with nature, sir. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you need to. You need to let your other senses take over. That's right. If you're on your phone with earbuds in your ear, okay, no. we got a problem. Like you're that's, out. Ty, what do you think? Uh, use I your wouldn't phone? use it. I wouldn't use it. No, because you wouldn't know how, or no, no. Well, hey, it won't work for me. But anyway, yeah, I wouldn't use it for the simple reason: you want to shoot a deer, go there. Okay, do not take your phone. Lock that in. way, you'll be watching nature, and like John said, you're missing so much that's happening around you. Because like the other day, I was watching for deer, and something was moving, and I put my binoculars up. And I'm telling you, this coon probably weighed 50 pounds. Another one. 50 hey, pounds. No, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, hey, look, I've seen some large coons, but this sucker here has been living well. One of his porch yeah, coons yeah. made it down oh, there no. to the property. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, hey, this thing was a bull. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I do. I, yeah. I don't play on my phone a lot, but I do have it for the times like yeah, when I you, get on the stand, I'm locked in and like well, no, no, cause then like, an hour goes by and then I'm like, yeah, oh. you're listening because you said it. Okay. You're listening because most time when I actually see like yesterday, I would actually, I'd actually stomach. Oh yeah. Something moves over. Yeah. It just, it was just, you couldn't identify it. It's just something. It was different. Yeah. So I look. And here comes the dope. And then about an hour before dark, I put it up. Yeah. Yeah. And like. That's the magic time. The reason yeah. I would say leave it at home first time, and go ahead and kill your first deer first. You've got the opportunity. The guy's got the property. you got the deer. Yeah. Go out, sit. Okay, kill your first deer. Become one with nature. You know, I, and you do, because, hey, you need to, you know, your senses, like Mark says, you'll just be sitting there, and it's like somebody's going, Look up. Yeah, look up. look up, and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, tell me, oh, look at me. How did she get there? It leaves yeah. all over the ground. You had to walk all the way yeah. across that. Yeah. yeah, I sounded like a herd of elephants coming in, but, yeah. you know, she didn't make a sound. It's so wild how, how many times. How did she get there? Yeah. I yeah. only smell deer yeah. first. Yeah. That's the only way I can It's them. It's wild, too, because, like, you will have, even if you're on your phone or not, you'll be looking one way. Most times you're like, well, this is where the deer's coming from. <laughs> and then something will go. Let me stretch, and you're like, no. <laughs> and then when you turn oh, around, man. then when you turn around, you say, "Yeah," because I was sitting there last night in the stand talking to stone, and I said, "Hey," I said, "That spike that's at the chum pile, which is about a hundred yards away." You I gotta said, chum the deer. Chum no, no, the no, deer. no. And I said, "If you if you hadn't seen him move, you wouldn't know he's there." Hey, you would you you would look at the chum pile and go back, and, you know. Because yeah. there, you talking about perfect to their surroundings, their camouflage is perfect. It is. Okay. That's wild. They, they're invisible, okay, unless they move or unless you really know what you're looking for. You need to start wearing deer colored camo. Hey. You disappear. Oh, no, no. I had a horror story about that. A buddy of mine's hunting a big buck. Well, time here. out. Wait, before you tell uh, that, let's take a break and we'll come back yeah. and let, let's hear. Yeah, I got a horror story about that. I can't wait. My buddy's sitting on stand. He's hunting this 14-point. Oh, wow. Huge buck, okay? Huge! And, I mean, look, this is a thicket. Well, hey, he sees something in the thicket. Hold okay. on. Is it a thicket or Moving. a grove? Huh? Is it a thicket or a grove? No, this is a thicket. Thick. Okay. So he sees something moving, 
Any other deer hunter would have put his rifle up and shot it. Because guess what it is? 15-year-old kid with a deer hide jacket on. Oh. That's and, just... Hey, look, he's in the thicket on his hands and knees. Oh. Okay, because I'm telling you, if anybody else would have been there, they'd have killed that kid. Hey, that goes back to the first rule of gun safety. Yeah. Know your target and what's beyond it. I don't know. Yeah. So, see, he, he's sitting there, and hey, my buddy got so mad, he yelled, then got out of the stand, went and got him, and walked him out of the woods with his blaze orange on, and said, hey, you stupid idiot. Deer season is open, and you're wearing a deer hide coat on your back. Yeah, that's a bad deal. And you was on your hands and knees, and I'm hunting a buck there. Mm-hmm. What was he doing on his hands and knees? Hey, it was that thick. Oh, having to, get, stand up. having to get through there. Yeah, having to get through there. You know, and he said, what are you doing out here anyway? That seems like where he was in one of them places where all my deer run to after you shoot them. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what, yeah. what was he doing out there anyway? Well, hey, yeah. he never did tell me the part of that. He was up all he was mad. Oh, I'd have been mad, too. Oh, my mm. goodness, he was mad. Yeah. That mm. was a wild story. Go ahead. What else oh. you got, Sean? I don't know. That story threw me all off. I wasn't ready for it. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was going to have to do with a 14-point deer. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, okay, that. here's a good one. Jeremy emails in from Oregon City. Guess what state? Kansas. Wrong. Oregon. That oh. was an easy one. But I currently work. <laughs> and well, I thought you were. I thought you were trying to trick us. Oh, yeah, well, he's classic. Uh -huh. he he don't trust you. He don't trust. We you. Uh, a test. But he's currently in uh, Idaho. He's twenty years old. He's an evening manager at a grocery store, which is awesome. I, that's what I did when I was about twenty, except without a cool title. I was just stacking apples. Um, <laughs> look, so here's the problem. There's this dude there, right? Yep, way older than him. Body slam him. Uh oh. And the, oh. <laughs> and the subject of this is old man hates life. Oh, he wow. doesn't necessarily think life is terrible. He just thinks there's a lot of problems. He complains about his job. He complains about the cost of living. He complains about the pay rate. He complains that they're only making this. He complains about the housing hey, prices. He's a he complains about marriage and thinks it's dumb. He did, didn't work out for him. Also, Jeremy just got married a few months ago. Way to go, Jeremy. Um, and basically, homie's just trying to have normal conversations with a man that is way older than him at work, but this dude just wants to complain. Mm -hmm. He tries to treat him with respect, but he doesn't know how to talk to him. Because he's like, I agree with some of the stuff he says, but it's just dragging me down. He don't know Jesus. There you go. Hey, there's the answer. Okay. I knew, I knew a fellow like Don't that. Don't you go to church hey, I moved me, away. Sunday, Bubba. I moved <laughs> away. You just moved away? I just moved away. I'm serious. Packed up and left. Hey, packed up and left because, hey, look, he was so bad, and this guy had no reason to be negative. Okay, none. He's his own boss. He's got his own business. Okay, so if he don't want to work, he don't have to work. Mm -hmm. He's retired military, got a check coming in, like I said. Everything's going his way. Got a beautiful wife, two beautiful daughters. Everything was his way. House paid for. Woe is me. And hey, and all you ever heard from this man was, oh my goodness, son, everything's just horrible. Woe is me. Just, yeah. Well, you, know, you talking about a whiner. I, I literally had to move away. Yeah. Those people I couldn't, are. I couldn't take it because he was pulling me down with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think y'all you know, nailed it, though. Because contentment. Is only found hey. in one place, right? That's right. Hey, and until you're content, peace of mind, yeah, peace of mind and contentment is a rare and precious thing, and you can only find uh, it in one place. Yeah, and, and you ain't gonna get it, but but by one one person. Yeah, and that'd be the Lord Himself. I like Godwin. Take him to church. Yeah, hey, yeah. take him to church. Come to church with But I do think, I look if if you try to be nice to him and he just is just constantly. He's Com not going to be nice to him. Complaining Jeremy. about everything. No, it, no, I'm saying he Jeremy. He can give it a shot, but I'm telling you, that man's not going to be nice to him. He is so ate up with his misery, he's going to stay there. Yeah, so, well, and even his perceived misery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he ain't really got it, okay, but it's his perception is, oh, it's woe is me. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's going to live. He's, he's happy in it. Yeah, that's when some yeah. people are the happy. No, no, I, hey. Some dogs like to waller in it. And you, I guarantee you, some people you cannot help. 
And those people, you got to shake the dust off your feet. That's and what move, I like. And move on. Hey, just let that dude go do his job. You go do That's your right. job. Yep. And because yep. because you don't want to go home. Was that with, reference biblical or T Swift? Shake the dust off yeah. your feet. That's biblical. Oh, I was just. Wondering. But um, <laughs> you don't want to go home after being around negative Nancy all day, and then you just got married. And you go home, and you don't realize if you're around this dude all day, and all he's doing is complaining. It's you're going, next. You're, yeah. It's going to oh, run yeah. off. Yeah, you're you know, next. Oh, yeah. Deuces, player. Yeah. I ain't got time for you. Yeah, you're next. Because then well, you're going to. Find us a good scripture for You're going to end up TD. critiquing your woman on everything she doing. Mm. You want me right. to find a good scripture for that? Yeah. That's a tough one. I don't know if I can. Philippians 2, 14. <laughs> do everything. <laughs> I'm going to do it in Phil's voice. since I say, Do everything without grumbling. <laughs> Or complaining. Complaining. You see all this little... Nee, 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 eh, eh. Don't do it. Do everything without grumbling and arguing so that you may be blameless and pure children of God who are faultless in a crooked and perverted generation among whom you shine like stars in the world by holding firm to the word of life that I can boast in the day of Christ that I didn't run a, run or labor for nothing. If, if you, you want people to see Jesus in you, don't complain. And I only tell argue. you this. Yeah. I tell you this. Because I love it. you. Because I, I love, love you. you. And we're out. We'll see y'all <laughs> next time right here in the Duck Hall. <laughs> <laughs>